guys welcome back okay so listen does anybody care about boxycharm unboxings anymore i'm not sure because they've been a little bit of a flop for me <laughs> so i don't know if anybody else is still excited about them um yeah i know every time i do an unboxing it's like should i cancel should i not but i'm real close you guys so anywho this is my boxy premium and as you can see this box definitely went through some difficult times in transit a little scared to open it up and see what's happening but yeah let's go ahead and pop her open see what's in here and if we have anything exciting this month i did already open up my regular basic box very unimpressed so yeah i'm probably going to be putting that with a giveaway because you know just because i don't like some things or i don't need some things somebody else might really enjoy them so i'm definitely going to be putting the items that won't work for me in a giveaway so let's go ahead and open up this boxy premium and see what we got for the month of april <sighs> okay so y'all know can't even play around need to be able to see okay so this is the card here boxy charm sweet treats this is what the card looks like really cute and let's see here i'm gonna read this whole number for those of you who care i have the version c 2104293 pm so that is the box that i have let's go ahead and just start pulling stuff out and do this real quick and simple so this first thing here, nice, big, beautiful tube. It says it's from Soleil. It is a leave-in conditioner for all hair types. So that is what this looks like. Very nice, sleek bottle. Um, really cute. So let's see what it says about this. Soleil Hair Tools Leave-In Conditioner. Soleil's replenishing Moroccan leave-in conditioner penetrates into frizzy dry hair to smooth each strand it hydrates renews and repairs damage from excess heat and harmful styling I don't put a lot of heat on my hair of course you know I use a lot of protective styles and stuff like that because the heat is no good and I don't like to be in my head anyway <laughs> so yeah I think I probably will try this out you know when I go through my washing and stuff like that and see how it works on my type hair since it says that is good for all types of hair hmm we shall see so it says that this retails for 25 dollars okay so that's item number one next item here it looks like a lip product who is this from Rowan it says kiss my doesn't finish okay so it says it's from Rowan and on the box as you see here it says kiss my okay so what color is this Charlie so that is what color it is looks like a nice beautiful kind of soft dusty rose oh that is very pretty you know what I already got this lipstick I already got it let me go ahead and make sure it's the same one yep I already got it now boxy did send me a notice stating that I think they gave me like $12 to use in the add-on shop or something like that because I did already receive a product before and so yeah this will definitely be going into giveaway because I don't need to so it says here Rowan Beauty kiss my liquid lip balm a non-sticky alternative to classic lip gloss oh okay this liquid lip balm soothes the lips at it, as it nourishes, regenerates, and repairs. Formulated with mango and grapeseed oils to hydrate and protect. It provides the high shine of a gloss with the nourishment of a balm. Retails for $26. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I doubt if I would pay $26 for this, but it looks really, really pretty. So, yeah, this will be going in a giveaway for sure because I don't need to let's see what else we got okay Natasha Denona transfix matte concealer comes in a cute little box like this what color did I get warm yellow orange 18 <laughs> WY warm yellow I'm assuming that's what that stands for 
oh okay so it looks like this might actually work for me so that is the shade that I have here let's see what it says Natasha Denona Transfix Matte Concealer a one stroke full coverage ultra, ultra light formulation with exceptional stain power thanks to the exclusive micronized pigments it doesn't crease all day long retails for $28 okay I've never tried um, Natasha Denona concealer so I am actually kind of oh okay kind of excited to try that it does look a little bit light but yeah I can work with that and it does look like it has some coverage so we'll check it out I'll go ahead and let that dry on my hand for now okay so let's see what's next Oh, I have a couple of items from Marc Jacobs. This first one here is in a cute little box. Is this a, oh, this looks like an eyeshadow. So this is the packaging. Let me open this up. It's called Copperazzi. <laughs> Copperazzi. <laughs> okay. Oh, very cute. Okay, so that's what it looks like. That's gorgeous yeah very very pretty i have about a million uh cream type beautiful shiny eyeshadows that i don't already use so i don't know if i'll be using this or if it'll go in a giveaway so i'm not gonna swatch it but you guys can see the color is gorgeous so let's see what it says here mark jacobs beauty sequins glam glitter liquid eyeshadow a crease and fallout resistant long wear liquid glitter eyeshadow that makes it easy to shine no matter the occasion. Formulated with lightweight squalene, this shimmer packed shadow glides on easily before setting in place for all day sparkle. Retails for $26. Okay, so yeah, it's very, very pretty. I think I'm going to be giving that away though. Okay, so what's next? We have another Marc Jacobs item. This one I'm pretty sure I'm definitely going to keep because this is a primer, I believe. Yeah, it's called Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer. I have the other coconut face primer, which I think might be the hydrating or something like that. I don't know. But this is what this one looks like. So very cute little tube and yeah it's a squeezer if you can see that so let's see what it says about this mark jacobs beauty undercover blurring coconut face primer this lightweight blurring primer extends makeup wear and features five forms of coconut okay <laughs> to help nourish and smooth the complexion in a universal shade it controls shine without making skin feel dry or overly matte and creates a perfectly prepped canvas for foundation. So, okay. Yeah, definitely excited to try this. I love the other Marc Jacobs um, face primer that I have. So, most likely I'm going to like this, but we'll see. And then lastly, I did get a palette. Very, very scared to open this because of the way that my box looks. It looks like two cats had a fight with it, okay? <laughs> so... Let's open this up and see if she made it through. So this is from Iconic London, and this is what the packaging looks like. It does have an outer sleeve. So yeah, it says Sunset to Sunrise Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, thank the Lord, I am completely shocked. So there is a mirror in this palette, and this is what it looks like, Sunset to Sunrise. So I definitely can see the name for this palette. I don't think I have any Iconic London palettes now that I think about it. So yeah, I'm sure I will be keeping this to try it out. It's very, very pretty. You know, it's it's the tones are very muted, not super dark and aggressive, but the color story is very pretty. So let's see what it says here. Iconic London Sunset to Sunrise Eyeshadow Palette. This eyeshadow palette is the perfect summer companion. The 20 highly pigmented shades in a selection of mattes, shimmers, and glitters will make your eye look pop. With a fine silk-like formula, the range of versatile shades takes you from day to night in an instant. Retails for $62. 
okay so I'm assuming that maybe this formula is really nice because that's a pretty pricey price tag for a palette like this um, like I said I'm not familiar with this brand but yeah I'm assuming that the formula is supposed to be super nice but yeah it is it's really really pretty we shall find out okay I wouldn't pay $62 for this color story but we'll see Okay, you guys, so it looks like that is it for my whole Boxy Premium box. I mean, it's not too, too bad. Out of the six, what, one, two, three, four, five, six items that I received, I am going to be keeping four. So that's not bad. One of them was the duplicate, duplicate lipstick that I'm giving away, and the other one is the Marc Jacobs eyeshadow that I'm giving away. Both items are very, very nice. So, yeah, I don't have too many complaints about this box. I think it's very nice. Um, and I'm excited to try this stuff out. So yeah, you guys let me know. Are you guys even still into the whole BoxyCharm unboxings? You know, are you still trying to decide if you want to get it or not? Because I'm kind of thinking about just kind of chilling on the unboxings. But let me know. Okay, so thanks so much for watching you guys. And I will see you on the next one. Toodles!